I hear water. Well, bingo. Let's see if we can find anything. Well, here's a really thin signal. I thought I was falsing at first. No way. It's a copper. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday on a beautiful 40 degree day in New Hampshire. At least the sun is out, so that's a good thing. Today, we're gonna head out there. I am in the mood to explore and my end goal destination is a farm site and cellar hole. Hello, woodpecker. Uh, about a mile and a half out there. So this could very well be one of those days where we don't find much of anything, but we get a good adventure in. That site that I've been to and worked many times, I've never gone all the way across from this side, and I want to know what's in between, so let's go. So I don't know if you guys can see, but right there is where a wall ends. Those are the farm fields we were detecting the other day when I found that shot spoon. So that is the basically the very end of that old farm. And this is where the disconnect begins. And we head on out down that way. Well, it's, a, it's starting to sound like springtime out here. Just doesn't feel like it, but there's plenty of fresh flowing water and things coming to life out in the, the meadow. All right, let's cross this thing. Oh. As usual, and as I thought, we would come across a cart path. The layout of this area is where we just came from, tail end of a farm, another farm over here, the cellar hole we're aiming for. It's all locked off by, you know, current roads, swamp and whatever, so this whole midsection is new to me. I know I need to go that way. But I am curious about where the car path goes. It could loop around, but I'm gonna keep my trajectory and head in the direction I need to. And as we move along, you can see it's it's not terrible land. It hasn't been improved upon ever. But you can tell it has not been cut in a long time. It's actually a pretty clean forest floor. I hear water, lots of it. I had to cross it. Well, it never fails. They're just wide enough to make it tricky. All right, so we should be entering the back side of the farm we're heading to. Well, bingo. We have rock wall. It's about 80 feet up that way, comes down here, five feet, knocks off this way. And then up there goes out. So let's see, 1.54 miles. So I called that one pretty good, had an idea. Now the only idea I don't have is exactly where I am 
on the farm. I've never been to this section, so I'm going to turn on my detector now. We'll start swinging along the wall and heading towards, I'm assuming the cellar hole's got to be up there. I've been going the same direction, so. All right. Let's see if we can find anything. Eey. Well, it's a signal, and uh, I did make it to the site. Cellar hole is right behind me. Uh, that wall we came in upon, not a quarter mile, call it two tenths of a mile. It was pretty far down there, and it was only, I'm guessing it was his boundary wall, which we don't see too many of those. Well, that's a chunk of iron. Well, there's another terrible signal, but they've been far and few between, so we're out here to see what's in the ground anyways. Some bean pot. I was waiting for one of you to show up. The trip is complete, and we have an oxen shoe. Oh man, listen to this, a few feet over. That's a solid grabber. It's actually scary how loud it is. Oh, please don't be space junk. Oh yeah, it's a big one. How's that for an oxen knob? Beautiful. Well that just made the hike worth it. Got me an iron signal. I see iron. Oh, cool. Pitchfork. The cool thing about this site is, historically, it's uh, probably 1760s, probably up to about 1810 roughly, what we've been able to figure out. So everything that comes out of here is old and cool. Especially when it's a tool. Oh wow, it's an iron buckle. That thing was really singing. All right, let's see what else we can find. Well, here's a really thin signal. I thought I was falsing at first. As you can see, I'm just barely grabbing onto something. Hmm. There's so many small, thin branches around. There's so many small, little, itty-bitty things. Like this. Whoop. You guys all right? Let's try that again. Uh, with all the small twigs and stuff, I thought I was bouncing off them. But a deer decided to poop here, so maybe that's a good sign. So let's try it now. No, that's no false. No way. It's a copper. Wow. And why do I say wow? This is the cellar hole that waited. You guys have been watching for the past couple of years. I think this is trip 10. So, so a year and a half I've been working this site. This is where George found his half real. And we've been pounding this place, but Unbelievable. Let's see what it sounds like out. 80. All right, let's 
get in, get a closer look and see what it is. It's a US large scent. I can see the one on the back. All right, I'm gonna let that dry out in my pocket and uh, probably gonna call it a day with that. Wow. Well, ain't that a treat. I just barely caught that signal. I thought I was falsing. It was like swinging over a needle. Man. Well, that's it, everybody. I appreciate you coming along with me. I would have been happy with just the ox knob. Uh, I'm just happy to be out. I'm happy to have a place that I like this that I have access to anytime I want. And even after 10 trips, a year and a half, there are still things here. That large scent, I did not expect to find that, uh, being I am no more than 40 feet out from where the house sat, uh, in an area where we pulled a lot of buttons. But as you can see, very thin signal. So. If you have a place that you've been working for a long time, go back, just enjoy being outside. That's all it drove me out today was to walk across that chunk of land to come in from this direction. That's why I wanted to get out. Finding things was a bonus. All right, I'll see y'all soon. Till next time, stay healthy and enjoy your not Thursday.